evening good afternoon everyone today we are going to talk about plant uml tool plant uml tool is used to draw the uml diagram using a simple and human readable text description so let's see how we can create a beautiful diagram using this so you can go to the plant uml text.com website to write uh, to write it or you can simply use that vs code extension so let's open the vs code so i have the vs code from here just type the plant uml and from there install this plugins uh, and once you are done you just need to enable it and then you are ready to start so let's see for this sake of this demo we'll create a file and now give them any name uh, i'm giving demo plant uml dot then give the extension so i'm giving that plant uml save this file so that you can use it later for uh, we will be designing this demo in such a way so that we will be create a simple credit card authentication process and uh, we'll learn how to create the uml so don't judge the solution skill here i'm only creating a sample doc uh, diagram for sake of learning not the actual solution so let's see how to do it so first thing first if you want to do a plant uml diagram you have to write everything under the start uml tag and there should be one and uml tag so once you add it uh, you can like this then you can define a title so let's say title and then you can define sample uml then control s if you want to see the output uh, just next to it use the control or oh, sorry alt d to see the preview so now here you can see the preview will be get loaded now the first thing first you have to define all the actors and entity which you want to use so let's define some actor like uh, i want to make a payment gateway things where the uh, user will be come to the salesforce enter the credit card detail we will be use integration layer sending the detail to the payment gateway to get the authentication verification and submitting the order to external system so for this uh, first thing we have one actor so let's say actor as a user give the name and then uh, you can save control s you can immediately see it is getting rendered for you if you want to give a lis name then you can use the s uh, as here and then define the name so let's say and user then click enter and then if you want to define the different participant take an example salesforce is one of them you can just simply uh, write participant salesforce then you can see everything is getting generated you can also give a short name using the s keyword then i can say sfdc so that i don't need to write this again and again into the as a big word and if you have a different uh, participant then define the all the participant together like take an example i want to use integration layer if it is a more than one word then you have to use double code so that it will become in a box and then also you can define a simple word like take an example i am using esb and then add some more participant like this as a like payment gateway and i can give a name to pay gateway so you can define the name and it is coming and then after that like i just want to use uh once the payment will be authenticate i just want to orchestrate the uh, detail to the uh, order system so let's say uh, participant as a order gate order system and then you can define the name as order and if you want to see if you have a two word you want to go into the next line you can use slash n which will be take uh, the word into the next line so you can use like this so it's a simple in uh, english you can write and use it so i'm just saving it i'm not using that so now see how we can do it so if you want to send some message from a system to b then you just need to use the simple arrow so let's take an example i want to say and user will enter uh, will provide data to the salesforce 
and what all data they will provide you can pass the message here so let's say enter the credit card number so to provide the message you just need to use the colon and provide the message and then click enter then if you want from sfdc will provide detail to uh, gate payment gateway so this is the last name i don't need to use the big name i can pass this one and then i can say get card type with four digit so here whatever the data uh, user provided i'm just taking four digit and sending to the payment gateway to type find it out the type of the card and then you can simply use the same thing like take an example once you'll send it that uh, payment gateway will be confirm you the type of the card if you now this time the payment gateway will be sent it data to salesforce you just need to change the arrow and then simply change the message what you are doing it they say return type as master visa etc so now you can see how how quickly and easily this is drawing and you can see the response here and if you want to like uh, use the uh, define the process you can also use the group so if i am doing it i can simply define group and when i am starting the group i can end the group and after that like uh, the box is created here and if you want to define the name of this you can say that staff validate card so once you add it click save the message will be go here so easily it can save for this for you and if you have a big process you are sending the data from different system like uh, again then the data will data will be come back then from the salesforce and user will be enter the complete uh, will save the data into the salesforce or provide the card detail so then you can say add and user to sfdc save card detail then after saving the card details uh, we will not save into the salesforce we'll send it to the payment gateway to get the token to store the token to the salesforce for sake of security then simply you can say okay save it then the salesforce what salesforce will be to it salesforce will be send a message uh, uh, to the payment gateway and what it will be do it will be post detail to get secure token so i can pass message like this and then uh, what will be happen then payment gateway will send the data back to the salesforce you just need to define the value arrows and uh, if you are doing asynchronous activity instead of doing a uh, single arrow you can provide double arrow so the dotted line will become so if you see that i put a dotted line here double line double uh, uh, hyphen then dotted line will become so you can use that for the asynchronous activity and do it and if you want to define okay this is the whole process i'm sending it and coming back so you can define a simple process like you can add simply uh, okay like a plus plus and then it will be start a big process so let me say but it is going beyond but after this i want to stop it then you can simply say minus minus so if you'll do it the whole process will be get defined like this or if you don't want to make a big process from the starting itself so i can define and plus plus here and once i'm defined plus plus whole process will become here let me save it press control d to generate the thing so it will come and top of it if you want to do finds or uh, add some failure things uh, then you can define simply else and define uh, everything over here so once you define else it will be added a else scenario as well take an example if you are they are passing the data and the data get failed so i can say and user and user and the payment gateway will say invalid type invalid card detail then you can see the else scenario is also created 
and here also I, if I would want to stop this uh, line here itself I can pass minus minus so it will be stopped here and remaining thing whatever you want to provide you can provide here like payment gateway uh, I'm passing then payment gateway will return me that the token now get uh, secure token and once the, I will get the secure token then it will uh, Salesforce, Salesforce need to store inside the Salesforce so Salesforce will be communicate with Salesforce so you can simply say Salesforce is sending and Salesforce is listening and then you can say uh save the detail save the encrypted token save it so like that you can see it and uh, this is what like as we can simply create one process and like that whatever the process you have you can define and if you want to give that uh, numbers to your process like sequencing then you can use auto number and save it then automatically your number will be get started like one two three four five six seven eight so like that you can define and you can change the number if i want to start from eight i can simply say uh, eight and then automatically it will get started so you can def use the auto number if you want to define the numbers and simply like uh, i want to use another detail like okay this is why my card is created it's get validated and everything token I have payment is done and after that if I want to send the uh, detail to someone other system I can create another group so I can create another group and saying that uh, submit submit order once I am creating the group I have to end this and once I will say it one more group will be created and after that I can say and user will be send a message using the Salesforce saying that submit the order then SFDC will send message to payment gateway validating the payment then uh, payment gateway will be confirm it is a success or failure back to the Salesforce with the payment ID and once you have the payment ID what exactly I need to do I need to send the data from the Salesforce to order system so that they can orchestrate from there so let's say Salesforce to order system says submit to others system and I can save this so now you can see it's it's uh, quite easy and simple so it is sending the data from here I want to define this one process so from here I can simply say okay when I'm sending the data to the Salesforce create a whole single process and then once it's go to the Salesforce uh, order then close this so once I will define plus plus and minus minus this process will be get defined so after that you have it you can simply save these diagrams and do whatever you want to do it it's quite simple and easy so I hope this is helpful so if you like this session don't forget to subscribe and share and simply you can click on the clipboards save this and uh, download this I hope this is a this is a useful session so try to not judge the solution but here I was just trying to showcase you how to use this tool and we just created this beautiful diagram within just 10 to 30 line of code so you can see how e easy this tool is and the advantage of this tool are like uh, people used to draw that uh, different type of diagrams using the different tool now the question is that how we can do the version controlling on that uh, sequence diagram so this is really good tool you can connect this particular code with your uh, git repository send it over there and then you can see the iteration and uh, uh, how the solution get changed over the time by the different architects so you can also do the version controlling of your sequence diagram
share uh, more detail on the blog post and uh, the, the code which we use for our demo into the description and uh, if you want to learn about more just go to the plantuml.com and just go to the sequence diagram there are lots of other sample diagrams are there commands are there which you can use to build your own